everyone and welcome to my art studio. If you don't know me, my name is Miriam and I am an artist living in Denmark. Um, so today we are going to paint this. And uh, it's beautiful sunflower painting. And um, I actually, if you can see it, there's some uh, writing on the side of the painting and I really think that gives a nice effect in the painting. And it is actually a poem I found on the internet. So, and you don't have to write the uh, same thing that I have written, but you can just uh, use your own poem or words if you like, or you can just scribble something. Um, it doesn't have to say anything, so let's get started. And here you see the material list, and if you look uh, where I put the watercolors in, you can see that, that I have suggested what you can mix together to get the right colors. And uh, I begin with wetting the whole page, uh, because I want all the colors to blend together here to begin with. Um, I don't just let everything mix together as it pleases. I put the colors in specific places, but I don't mind that uh, they mix a little bit on the paper. So, and I put the yellow colors where the sunflowers are. And it's okay if there's a little bit of yellow color around the background, because that's that looks nice, I think. And I put in a bit of the burnt orange as well in the middle of the sunflowers. And now I put in the background. Um, I really love this color. It's so beautiful with the yellow flowers, I think. So before I begin a painting, I often make a color swatch and see what colors I think look beautiful together. And uh, then I... I just like to do it like that because then you don't get surprised when you start painting. So that's actually a, quite a good idea. And now I put in some color on the vase uh, where the flowers are in. And you can just follow along as I paint. And I just allow the colors to float a little bit together. And I go in with some more colors in the background. And uh, the colors uh, dry up uh, a lot uh, lighter than when you see it in the wet stage. So we just have to consider that when we paint. But here in the beginning, I don't mind the colors to be a bit light because I can always put more color on later. And now I have let everything dry because I'm going to do the next layer. And uh, here I go in and put some yellow colors on the petals of the flower. And sometimes I wet the leaf a little bit before I put paint in and that's just to make everything flow nicely together. Um, yeah, and I go in um, uh, with a darker orange near the middle of the flower because sunflowers are a bit darker closer to the middle so just do that on all the sunflowers and um, the one I'm working on right now is the main flower in the painting um, and I make sure to get the colors really nice and this one and uh, nice and bright uh, and the flowers that steps a little bit in the background i give a lighter color because uh, this is the main focal point and i want that to uh, shine the most if you can say it like that so uh, i will put in more most of the details on this flower and a little less details on the flowers that's a little bit in the background.
I have sped this video up a little bit, so uh, if it's going too fast, uh, just pause the video sometimes and catch up and uh, don't get stressed when painting. It's just if it will be a very long video if I don't speed it up sometimes, so yeah. I just go all around the sunflower leaves and put in the colors. And after I have finished this, I continue with the other flowers. In this stage, when I'm doing the petals on the flowers uh, for the second time, I um, I paint one petal and then I skip the next petal because I don't want the colors to flow together uh, in this stage of the painting. So um, unless it's okay and uh, but I want the lines to be more hard and so uh, when the first ones i've been painting when they are dry i do the ones next to it and that's just to avoid the colors to flow together and now i put in the middle of the flower or the center of the flower and in sunflowers those are quite dark so I uh, make the center very dark and then go around with the burnt orange and that's a bit dark, darker than the yellow we have blue used on the leaves. And then I just dab in the colors because if you look at a sunflower there's a lot of dots. I think you can call it that. So and, and just to make it look more realistic just dab in the colors. And I just build up the colors layer by layer and if I don't think the middle is dark enough I put in some more colors and remember to the flowers that's uh, not the, in the focal point um, you make it a little bit lighter in the colors so, so it don't stand out as, as much as the flower <laughs> who's the focal point and yeah just go over it the middle of the flowers uh, and see when you think uh, it looks 
nice compared to the colors on the petals as well. And now it's time to paint the leaves and I begin with a darker color up against the flowers where uh, there will be more shadows and then I put uh, water on my brush and soften the edges so there won't be a hard edge but a soft edge and I want the leaves to be a bit softer in the colors uh, the further away from the flowers they are because there's more shadows uh, closer to the flowers and now I go ahead and mix in a darker green color and uh, you can do that by adding paint gray to your green color and I put it uh, where, this, uh, where I think there will be shadows uh, from the leaves. And I just forgot a petal there on the sunflower, I could see that. <laughs> and I go in here with the green colors. And it will also be where the screen between the flowers in the vase, uh, it will be quite dark green because there's shadow in there. And now I want to paint the vase and I have mixed up a stronger color uh, than the first time I painted it and I put it in uh, because one side of the vase is in a little bit of a shadow because the light hits the vase from the left side so the right side has to be a bit darker and there's a very dark shadows shadow on the table where the vase is standing so i put in a quite a dark color on the table And if you like this video, please uh, give it a like downstairs or oh, down below, I think it's called. <laughs> Excuse my English. Uh, that would really mean a lot to me. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, please write them down in the comments. I would love to hear if you, if there's something you would be eager to learn how to paint. Um, 
So yeah, uh, if you have any comments or questions, just write them down below. Thank you. And now I have come in with a small brush um, because I want to make some lines on the petals of the flower. Um, and especially this flower, which is the focal point, I really want to uh, make some more details on that than on the other flowers, even though I will go in and, and do a little bit of details on the, the other flowers. But most details on the big focal point flower. And if you have a liner brush, that's a very good uh, brush to use for this as well. And now I go in with some more shadow color on the vase and I've mixed up a darker mix of uh, the color. I think it's called Indian Red I'm using for this. And I just uh, go in and put in some shadows. And uh, when I want to soften the edges, I clean my brush in the water and, and use uh, the clean water to soften the edges. There will be a little bit of shadow also where the leaves are on the other side of the vase, so I put in a little bit of color there as well. And it's very important in the painting that you have very light colors, but also very dark colors. So, um, because that uh, makes the whole uh, thing look more realistic. And the painting can be look a little bit dead if, if uh, there's, uh, it's all in the same value of color, I think you call it. Um, so make sure to have light areas, very light areas, and also some very dark areas. And now I go in and put some darker colors in the background as well um, or around the petals of the flowers because that will make them pop as well. And I soften the edges with clean water all the time. <laughs> I don't want any hard edges here. so, And I just do that. Uh, I think I do it all around the painting, around the flowers, put in some darker colors uh, because that will make you see the petals uh, a little better and make them pop and yeah it gives quite a nice effect i think so 
And I, I'm just thinking now when I see myself doing this that I perhaps I should have written uh, the text that's in the painting before I put in the dark colors because it was actually quite hard to see it. So, uh, yeah. And uh, you decide whether you want to use a waterproof ink pen or if you just want to use the pencil. Uh, depends on how much you want the text to show in the painting. But I like the effect, so I used actually a gray waterproof pen. And if I'd been a little bit smaller, <laughs> I would have used it before I put paint painting on the on the picture here. So, um, yeah. And if you have seen my water lily video, uh, you would know that I actually like to have uh, the pencils show in the painting. I think it looks quite nice. And so now I just go around the uh, flowers and strengthen it a bit uh, where the lines are. I, I just like that effect. And um, yeah, and if, if you don't like that effect, just don't do it. Uh, it's not, not necessary, I just find it very pretty, so. And there you go, we are almost finished. You just need to put in your name on the painting and it's done. And. Uh, if you want to see more videos from me, please hit the subscribe button um, and then you will see when there will be more videos. I do videos every week, so thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in another video.